Last of all, and this is the big blow, I'm going to come to Hell's drugstore now. Last of all, and this is the big blow, I'm going to come to Hell's drugstore now. The serpent's babysitter and Satan's x-ray machine and the devil's de-brainer. The devil's got a way of taking people's brains out and they never know it. And a man without any brains is in bad shape. That's right. I'm talking about the cancer department. I'm talking about the radiation department. The one thing that's made a miracle quit thinking and then she quit praying and she quit reading the Bible and she quit having revivals and she quit living right and that's the TV department. That's the one big monster that's literally de-brained America. It's made smart men quit thinking. It's made preachers quit preaching. It's made Christians quit praying and winning souls. It's stopped revivals across America. It's the biggest enemy there is to righteousness. And yet, I know you are. You say, but Brother Walt, tremendous invention. I agree. Yeah. If you could see Jesus on it. <clears throat> I get letters every once in a while that say, Brother Walt, are you, do you have a television set? Somebody said you did. I haven't had one, but I will get one during the millennium. Amen. I'll catch up on all my TV watching because I'm going to see Jesus every morning for breakfast. <laughs> when he sets his offices up in Jerusalem, I'll take orders from him and visit with him, and I'll listen to his sweet and wonderful devotional every day. Amen. I really mean that. But television is in the hands of the devil. I'm sorry. One preacher said the other day, 98% of it is filthy. And he ought to know because he's got a big set. <laughs> and he bought it for 2%. That's all. Young people have ruined their grades and studies. Yeah. Optometrists said the American eyes have been ruined. The doctors said little bodies have been ruined. And the great radiation experts said fatal radiation sits in every living room uh -huh. from the TV tube. Yeah. And the more powerful the tube, and especially the colored TVs, Nothing but cancer coming at dogs or people or whatever gets in front of it. I didn't say that. That's what he said. And he died from his own rays of radiation. Dr. Emil Grubb. And yet America, like a horse rushing into battle, you're not going to turn it. They're going right on down the road. Even though our churches are dead, souls are going to hell in droves. And yet people waste their time. And yet God said, seeing the days of evil, let's buy up the time. Let's redeem the time. This illustration, I close the message. It's the plainest, it's the most vivid. A woman drove a long ways a few months ago, came into the meeting. She said, already by letter and telephone, I'll be there early. I must talk with you. And so I met her at the church early. She's a beautiful lady, 30 some odd years of age, a Baptist preacher's wife. An older lady came, wonderful prayer warrior, great Christian, listened to this precious woman with a broken heart and with a disturbed mind as she related the story. She had a hard time telling the truth about it. She said, it's my boy. He's 15, handsome. He's a fine fellow so far as physical physique is concerned. I said, well, you'll have to tell me if you want me to take him. I know he's in trouble. Yes, she said, uh, he is. She said, when my bath was finished, I had on the smock, I was rolling up my hair, the bathroom door opened, and two strong hands went around my throat. And I fell to the floor, and my own boy made his attack on me. I went to the hospital for shock. I said, two questions I want to ask you. Have you, already, have you always dressed modestly? She said, yes, I have. I've been brought up to wear the proper decent clothes that a woman ought to wear. I said, do you have a television set? She said, yes, sir. That's exactly what he was watching when he got the notion that he'd attack his own mama. He said, Mother, my passions were so stirred as I watched the filth on our television set in the living room 
until I lost control and choked my mother into unconsciousness and made my attack. I said, I got one more question I want to ask. Do you still have your television set? She said, yes, sir. We still have it, but we had to get rid of our boy. And that's the demon that's possessed America in 1967. You can fuss at me, accuse me of being non-progressive. I'm just inspecting her dirty fruit. And I see what's happened. And you mothers and daddies are asking for it. Just go ahead. Yeah. You preachers and, and people of God, you're asking for it. You're not standing like preachers used to stand. And like God's people used to stand. If you want revival, come out of sin. If you want to see souls saved, give up the devil in sin. I don't think America's going to be saved, but I think this, I think we could win some souls that will soon bring back the king. Amen. If we'll get cleaned up on the inside and renounce sin and the habits of the world and say, I want to be like Jesus. I want him to purify me on the inside and cleanse me. Bow your heads while we pray.